Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today, as we will be reviewing South Korean action flick Deliver Us From Evil. The movie, written and directed by Hong Won Chan, stars Wang Jung Min in the lead role as Kim In Nam. The movie begins with Kim In Nam, a hitman, completing his latest assignment in the neighboring Asian country of Japan. Simultaneously, over in Thailand, Young Ju, played by Choi Hee Seo, sends her daughter, Yu Min, off to school telling her that she will be picked up by her babysitter when school finishes. Young Ju then heads off for an investment meeting as she is planning on getting involved in a new business venture in the form of a local golf course. When Yu Min finishes her day at school, she is met by the babysitter, but instead of taking her home as her mom has promised, the babysitter takes her to her husband's house. As it dawns on Young Ju that her daughter has more than likely been kidnapped, she quickly informs the police. Not only does she alert the police of the plot, but she gets in touch with Chun Sung, who in turn enlists the help of the mysterious in Nam. However, the hitman, who we saw at the very start of the movie, has no interest in the job. The following morning, in Nam is contacted again by Chun Sung, who informs him Yu Min's mother, Young Ju, is in fact dead. The story, via flashback, then outlines the fact that in Nam and Young Ju were previously involved romantically. We also find out more about the nature of the relationship between in Nam and Chun Sung. The latter acted as in Nam's superior in the National Intelligence Agency eight years prior to the story and was instrumental in Nam being forced to leave Korea in order to protect Young Ju. After this pretty interesting intro, we head back to the present day, and in Nam travels back to Korea via Incheon Airport to visit the body of his former lover, Young Ju, where emotions obviously run high. Of course, Yu Min is only a young child, so you might have already figured out that Yu Min is actually in Nam's daughter at this point. In Nam, who obviously and under understandably wants answers as to who might be involved in Young Ju's death, decides to pay his former superior Chun Sung a visit. At this point, a further plot is unveiled involving some new characters. Before leaving for Thailand to search for his kidnapped daughter, In Nam receives a phone call from a character called Shimida, who informs him that someone from his past, known as Ray, is seeking revenge on the people who were involved in the murder of his younger brother, Koraeda. Ray then disposes of Shimida before heading over to Incheon to take care of In Nam's former boss, Chun Sung. Before he leaves Korea, he finds out that In Nam has headed off to Thailand, so Ray decides to follow suit in a bid to find the man who he believes also took part in the murder of his little brother. Once he arrives in Bangkok, In Nam meets a person called Young Bae. He is then informed of Young Ju's final movements before her death and Yu Min's disappearance. Before he learns of the investment deal, which involves a real estate agent known as Jong Su. It turns out Jong Su is a somewhat multifaceted character, with many strings to his money making bow, also moonlighting in a casual spot of kidnapping now and again. His latest kidnapping venture, of course, involves In Nam's daughter, Yu Min, and it is at this point we start to worry for Jong Su's future, as taking part in the kidnap of a hitman's daughter probably signals your life is about to expire. In Nam catches up with this blundering real estate agent and extracts the information from him he needs before leaving him to die where he found him. At the same time, all this is playing out, Ray is still hot on In Nam's heels. He easily disposes of a gang of men who lied to him about their part in capturing the babysitter who played a major part in kidnapping In Nam's daughter. At the same time, In Nam heads across to the home of the babysitter to try to extract more information surrounding the whereabouts of his child. He decides the best course of action would be to torture the babysitter and her husband to get the information he wants about Yu Min. Following the torture of the plotters, Young Bae introduces In Nam to a transgender woman by the name of Yui, who can help him. The newly formed alliance then head off to a building to try to find Yu Min, but end up uncovering a pretty sinister child trafficking ring, which is designed for organ transplants. However, Yu Min is nowhere to be found, and the pair figure out that she is on her way to Long Yao in another part of Thailand, where she is scheduled for heart transplant surgery. At this point, the subplot with Ray ramps up a notch as he finally comes face to face with our anti-hero, In Nam, who he believes had a hand in the death of his brother. The pair fight, but In Nam escapes, as well as Yui and a child from the building. However, they don't get far and are soon apprehended by the police. It turns out the building, which was being used in the child trafficking ring, belongs to a well-known Thai criminal known as Chaopo. Once his boss finds out about the goings-on in the building, plus the involvement of police, Chaopo's boss, Lan, orders his men to kill In Nam and Yui both. 
Innam hot-tails it to Long Yao, but Yui gives him up easily, and the police pursue him. Once in Long Yao, Innam witnesses Yu Min being taken away for surgery, but obviously decides that won't be happening on his watch, to the obvious delight of the viewer. But before he can attempt an audacious rescue, he's intercepted by the persistent Ray, who again attempts to kill him. Innam is saved by the arrival of the police, but they decide the world would be a better place without both Ray and Innam, and shoot them both. However, Innam escapes but not before killing the surgeons who are involved in removing the organs of children, which is a lovely touch, rescuing Yu Min in the process. As a result of all the mayhem, the police shut down Chaopo's operations, and not long after, Ray pays a visit to the home of Lan, whom he asks for help in bringing down Innam. After he visits Lan, Ray then goes on to kill Young Bei, who he has discovered helped Innam. Yu Min, having been rescued by her father, is then inexplicably left in a hotel room the pair have checked into all alone, whilst Innam heads off to figure out how to escape the country. Somehow, though, Chaopo's men have figured out where Innam is staying, and on his way back to Yu Min, he's ambushed by Chaopo's men. But our hero battles his way through back to Yu Min, who is hiding inside a suitcase. The bloodbath culminates in Rei killing a couple more of Chaopo's men, before suddenly changing his mind. He tells the men to take Innam somewhere else whilst he deals with Yu Min. But Yui, our transgender helper whom we thought had given Innam up, spots Chaopo's guys bundling Innam into a van. She decides to take matters into her own hands by ramming the van the men are using with her pickup. She frees Imnam, who immediately gives chase, ramming Ray off the road, where the pair are then involved in a brutal fight. Of course, Imnam has a grenade to hand, why wouldn't he? Which he uses, but ends up injuring both himself and Ray. In the process, Innam rescues Yu Min for the second time before instructing Yui to get his daughter to safety. Ray, like the pest he has been throughout the movie, then stabs Innam, who has another grenade to hand, detonating it, killing them both. The movie finishes with the realization that Innam, in true mysterious international criminal style, has left a bag of cash and documents in a locker, which Yui unlocks. In case of his death, he left Yui with instructions to take his daughter, Yu Min, to Panama. So off they head to Central America, where they settle down. In the last shot, we see a now happy Yu Min having started her new life in Panama with Yui. The camera then cuts to a photograph frame in the house in Panama, which shows two photographs, one of Yu Min and her late mother, Young Ju, and the other of Yu Min's father, In Nam, who had fought so valiantly to make sure his daughter had a future. As always, thanks for joining us today, and remember to stop by next time for some more great reviews. Also, why not like and share today's video and make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Bye guys!